Welcome to the Clutter to Calm five day challenge. This is day five, Freedom Friday. You made it. I'm so thrilled for you that we were able to go through this journey together. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how today is going to go. So remember, this today is a little bit of an extended training. We're actually going to go for an hour and a half. And we're going to start with um, where we've come. And we're going to look at, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the homework that we have for today, the, the final assignment in your five day of removing things out of your life that aren't working for you, getting rid of overwhelm and being able to, uh, you know, live a life that is much more productive for you. So make sure you have your water with me, with you. Mm. Stay hydrated as we go on a roll on this journey. We're going to be talking about, again, I'm going to break this up into the homework and for the final day for this. And then I'm going to talk about some training. And I talked about three things that I use to continue this training for you to be able to do that. And I'm also going to talk to you about how you can continue this, how you can continue with the momentum of what you've been doing to move forward. So I'm going to put on here so you guys see this, the Clutter.com challenge. It is Freedom Friday. I hope you're already feeling free with all the things that you've done so far. We have looked at what do you love in your space and what are you tolerating? And you have to review that list to see what things that you've been able to let go of, what things you're still tolerating, because this is part of a journey that we're looking at. We've also looked at how you're spending your time, what's in your calendar, how much of the things in there are the things that you love to do versus what you have to do right? And then also we went into your closet this week and we looked at, you know, what are some of the things you could remove out of there that no longer represented who you are? We want everything in your space to be an environment that pulls you forward to the life that you want to live. And then yesterday we looked at your think space. You know, what is it that was around the areas that you did your work? You know, was it the physical space with papers or was it also in your computer? We unsubscribed the things that you were no longer looking at and being a part of. I hope you're starting to see now that as you were removing things, that it only took a short amount of time to shift how you're feeling. I was so thrilled and excited to be part of the private group, to be able to see your journey, what was coming up for you, and to see your wins on how just setting a short amount of time and clearing out things that weren't working for you made such a huge difference in how you were feeling and experiencing your day. So this is a huge win with that. So if you had some wins this week, I'd love for you guys to put in the comments, win. Let's interact together here. I see Lisa is on here. Hello, Paula. Oh, I'm glad that you're here as well. You'll be listening to some of the replays. And let's see here. We have, uh, oh, you've got your grandbabies, Karen, that are showing up here. We will watch during nap time. I thank you so much. That'll be great to have you on here. This has just been so fun. Uh, I see some people putting in some wins that you've had during this week. So continue as you jump in. If you've had even one small win this week, if you put in the comments win, it'd be great to see that. And I'm going to uh, be as interactive as possible with this. Onisha, thanks for being here. You've got a win. Sam's got a win. Oh, you guys, I love this. You know, because just having one thing that has shifted and changed in your life is a win. It's a big win when we can shift those little things that can that can happen. So uh, Lisa, you mentioned that you can't see or hear. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, somebody can uh, type in here, uh, maybe Sam, you can, to tell her to refresh the screen. I know this happens a lot, uh, especially if people are watching on their um, handheld devices, that if you just hit refresh, uh, that has popped up for people to be able to see and hear the recordings. So uh, for whatever reason you can't, then you can always come back on the replay. So hopefully everybody is able to hear, partake, and you know, be involved with this. So uh, let's see as I scroll down and see this. So as we look at all these things that you've cleared so far, you know, what where are we at in terms of what is what is left? What is true freedom? If we're looking at you know Freedom Friday, what is true freedom? The one aspect that people tend to forget about is the mindset, the mindset clutter, right? The things that are going on in your head that are not supporting us. So we're going to be jumping into that 
uh, with the homework and what to do about that and part of the assignment uh, in just a few moments here. But quickly, I want to be able to talk to you guys about the giveaways. I know that you guys have been so diligent about you know participating and I really love how you've made comments, positive comments to your sisters who are part of the group to really encourage them. That has really, you know, built up the community that we've done in the, in the private group, uh, which has just been really amazing. So uh, we are going to, as you remember, if you haven't done it yet, to make sure you put your homework in the private group. And for those who have posted their homework for each day in the private group, you're going to be... Um, put in for the for the drawing here with the uh, action box. Uh, so I hope you guys will win that and have that extra incentive to be part of that. I'm also gonna have an additional giveaway that will be available to all of you who are here with me live. Uh, and even if you're here on the replay and you watch this to the very end, I'm gonna give you some instructions where you are going to be able to get my personal reset PDF breakdown of how you can utilize the reset in all the different areas of your life. I'm going to incorporate some of that in the training today as we go through things. So you'll see how I use the reset. This week, we focus on just the R of my reset, the remove, about removing things out of your life that were not supporting you. There's actually four different other aspects of it that build up the five set system that actually will support you. So I'm going to talk about that here in the training and as part of that uh, additional giveaway bonus for those that stay with me here to the end, I will give you the instructions for you to be able to get that for free as a complimentary. So um, look out for that. And let me keep moving down here so I make sure I have everything here. And I also want to just let you guys know too, um, I applaud you guys for you know really embracing this platform. Uh, there's a, sometimes a lot of moving parts and some things are happening. And a lot of you are asking, you know, why was this challenge happening in two different spaces? So let me address that a little bit here now. So one of the reasons why I do the live training here on my business page is this is the only area that you are able to share, right? You can't share from the private group. So for you to be able to share, this is, since this will be available, it, the videos here, including this one here today, actually expire on Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific. So you're going to want to make sure you've watched everything. And if you know other people that could really uh, benefit from this, then you can share that. And this makes it easy from the business page to be able to share it to other people. And it also gives us you know, a further reach so that we can touch other people who are, have not been formally in the challenge. So for those of you that actually put calm in the um, in the remarks here, you're able to get into the private group and you'll still have access to that. Uh, if you want to catch up with the homework and be part of that, you can do that. You'll want to, if you want to be part of the giveaway on the action box, you'll want to get that done by noon tomorrow because I will actually be picking the winner by noon tomorrow, which is Saturday, noon Pacific. And uh, I'll do a quick little live uh, to let you know who won and, um, you know, follow up to let you know what that is, but you have access to look at the material in there, look at the videos until everything expires on Sunday at six. And the reason why we have the private group is one, to have some deeper experience with the community so that you can connect with everyone in there. And, you know, there's some things that have come up as I know a lot of you have experienced that uh, are very personal and going through this this process can feel very vulnerable. And some of the things that you've been sharing in the private group, you may not have been as comfortable putting in the comments here. And so uh, if that was the experience for you, where you just, you know, you felt safe in the private group and you were able to share things on a more personal level, I'd love for you just to put in the comments, you know, truth, right? That that came up for you, that it was uh, a good space for you to be able to share, you know, from a vulnerable place, what was happening for you, what was coming up in your mindset, what was happening in the process. I know some of you had put in 911 because I said I was your 911 source um, going through this and I was able to address some of your concerns at a deeper level. And so that's why we wanted to have this contained sacred space for you to feel safe, to really share some of those deeper things. And uh, I really applaud those of you who did that and took advantage of that 
to um, be able to have happen. So, okay, great. I saw some people who had that uh, happen and putting in there. So I'm seeing some truth in here. So thank you guys, Anisha and, and Lisa Ann, good to have you back in here uh, to just be part of this together. So it's really important to have that happen. I also want to say as well is I think this is such perfect timing that we're coming into Mother's Day weekend, right? You know, whether or not you are a mother, whether or not you get to spend time with your own mother, or you are a mother for a lot of people in the world, or you want to have more mother energy in your life. This is such a wonderful way to nurture yourself, to really look at what's working and not working in your life, and to allow this process and the continuation of this process to be what you do to nurture yourself. And I think you're starting to see here when you take care of yourself, when you actually focus on what it is that you want out of your life, that is a way to have self-care and to nurture yourself. So I want to say happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there and those of you who are looking to have more nurturing mother energy in your life so that you can bring more calm into that. So thank you for, for being here and, and sharing that start to this weekend that is happening. So I want to jump into a little bit here about the clutter to drama ratio. I've talked to you a little bit about this, especially as we talk about Freedom Friday, and we're going into the mindset part of this. This is such an important concept that I cultivated when I was with the police department. So for those of you who don't remember or don't know that I was a San Diego police officer for 10 years, and I worked patrol as well as I worked undercover assignment. So I worked gangs, narcotics, vice, and I saw a lot of things behind the scenes that people definitely did not want uh, me to see. And you know, it really got me to be able to see inside, kind of peer into the behind the curtain of people's lives at times where they weren't prepared for it. And what I got to see there was that the more clutter that people had in their space, the more clutter and drama they had in their life, the more police had to be called, the more things that weren't working in their relationship and in their life. And it's important to know that you also have to work this from the inside out, right? So as you clear things from your mind, your space starts clearing as well. So this works both ways. Now, I hope you don't need to have, you know, me or someone in the police that comes to clear things for you or get to the a point that that happens. Although I am happy. I do that for my VIP clients. They do fly me to their location and I do help them clear things in their space. In fact, some of you on here, I have been in your home and have supported you with this. So, oh, hey, Paula. Yes, I was that police officer. And what happened in this is that when I got to see what was happening there and what was not working, I noticed the same thing for my entrepreneurs and for my people who were in everyday people in their life, that the more clutter that they had in their space, the more things that were not working in other aspects of their life. And they maybe didn't necessarily realize this from a conscious level, right? It's not like they woke up and said, oh, my clutter is affecting my life. There's just something where it's like a drain. It's like an anchor of something that you could just walk past it and not even really pay attention to it. And it starts really filling up your mind and distracting you, right? And distraction takes us away from the things that we really want to do in life. So we want to pay attention to what is in our environment and how that affects our life on such a deep level. So we want to be able to, to look at that. So let me put on here is that, uh, you know, what kind of clutter in your mind came up during this challenge, right? So in, even though I went to some people's homes and they had a lot of clutter that involved the police coming, what is happening in your space where you've got some clutter that's happening in your space and you're noticing that maybe you're not as creative, you're not being as clear in your thoughts. You're not doing some of the things that you love. And you maybe didn't look at it in terms of, of that, right? And when you look at your space, you can start looking at what are you tolerating? So we can go back to day one here in this challenge when we looked at what did you love in your space and what were you tolerating? So you want to be able to look at what were some of that mind chatter that happened when some of those tolerations came up what were you saying to yourself in your mind, right? Were you saying like, oh my God, I can't believe how messy I am. Uh, I can't believe uh, I'm never going to get rid of these, you know, tolerations. Like what is those negative self-talk that kept coming up that may be a way to hold you back? If you notice that, then um, put in, in the comments, 
in the comments, what were some of those things when you saw your tolerations that popped up in your head? I'm seeing here some of you are already putting uh, causing frustration. Oh, Paula, thank you. I'm happy to be here in your life. Uh, and you know, what were some, what are some of the things that come up for you when you look around? And let me also say at this point too, that just because you have clutter in your space and in your mind, this doesn't mean that you are a bad person or that you don't have it together. It just means that you hadn't focused on it until now, right? Because we're all so focused and busy and there's some overwhelm and things that are happening that when you don't focus on that, you're focusing on other things, right? You're focusing on building your business. You're focusing on your family. Maybe there's someone in your family that you need to support or take care of. There's just other things that are happening. And then sometimes at some point, and this probably happened to you at some point, you know, this week or even today, if you're, this is just your first uh, call that you're being on here with me, is that you're just realizing that it's now time to deal with it right? To shift the things out of your space so that you can regain back that energy that has been dragging from you. So uh, I'm hearing you guys say something about being out of control, things not being finished. Debbie and Lisa and Onisha, you know, um, thank you for putting this in here. That People saying that they're a dirty person, a bad person. I mean, these are all the things that are coming up in your head. And as we move into the homework today, we're going to see that these are just not true right? Our mind plays such tricks on us that makes us believe negative things about ourselves that can hold us back and not finally clear these things, right? So we're going to walk through this and really see, uh, you know, how this is impacting you on a deeper level. So we're going to jump into our, our Friday day five homework. And so if you, it doesn't matter if you didn't get the email about it, I'm going to recap it here. We're going to go over it. The freedom Friday, I'm sorry, the freedom Friday homework, what we're looking at here is those disempowering thoughts, those things that are coming up in your head. You know, Sam mentioning about distracted, about unfinished, incomplete tasks, you know, that keep running in your head. These are things that continue to happen. So the first thing in the homework was just to notice them, right? Notice the disempowering thoughts that are happening in your head and that uh, they can come back to the tolerations that came up. They could just be what's coming up for you now, right? What are those things that are coming in your head that are those disempowering thoughts that you know they don't serve you? A lot of times I like to share about, you know, your mind being a bad neighborhood, that you shouldn't go in there alone, that these are the things we need to talk about. So we bring them out to the surface so that we can then, you know, get rid of them. So the second part of the homework was to understand that this is false that these negative thoughts that come in your head, they are not true. No matter how much your mind tries to tell you that you're true or that you're a bad person and you're unorganized, that you don't know what's going on, or you know this is so simple, why can't I just do it on my own? Why do I need Diane to help me to do it? Like all the things that are happening, it's just not true, right? It's just a process. It's just habits that haven't happened for you. It's just not having systems. It's all those things that maybe the day-to-day -day struggles that haven't supported you. You haven't had the embodied actions. You haven't had the direction to show you what to do. So just to have that awareness around where that is. So as part of your homework, I want you just to pick one of those disempowering thoughts and I want you to shift it. And I want you to think about what do you want to think instead? And then as part of the homework to post in the private group after the call that what is the empowering thought that you want to think going forward. Now, if you want to also put it here in the comments as we're talking, just to get yourself into that energy of that more empowering thought, I'd love for you to put that uh, word in the comments as well, right? But don't forget to put it into the private group so that you can be part of the drawing that will be picked uh, tomorrow, Saturday at noon. So you can get credit for all the wonderful things that you are doing. So that is part of the homework. Uh, so if you want to put that in the comments, that is awesome so that you get to get to have that aspect of it. So I'm going to keep looking back over in here so I can be engaged uh, with any questions that you guys that have come up. I'm going back and forth here. I want to be really inclusive. Uh, I really appreciate all of you that are here live with me. It's just so nice to have this conversation together. And then I can also guide some of the things that come up for you and address them as we're talking because this is uh, you know, training as well as me giving you tips and, and tools to be able to support you in moving through um, the day-to-day -day distractions that happen and to really shift those things so that you have more intentional living. That's what I want for you. The whole idea in doing this five-week uh, 
or sorry, this five day challenge was to reduce the overwhelm in your life. And I hope you've already starting to experience that and to live a life that you really love. Not someday, not next week, not next year, or as soon as you get a promotion or the kids get out of school. It's now. It's living that life now and really seizing that moment and, and having that happen. So <clears throat> at this time, I wanted to share with you a lot of people have asked about, you know, how did you go from being on the streets and, and doing law enforcement and the things that you got to see every single day and the challenges that happen with that. And how did that translate into spa life? Like, how do you go from that? And I'm going to share that with you because I know that you've had similar stories and maybe not to the depth of where I'm going to be sharing with you here in a moment, but start thinking as I'm sharing some of these things, you know, what has been your own journey? right? You may have even said, I used to be organized or I used to have it all together and I don't know what happened, right? And I can tell you life happened. You know, different things that happen in life, we just don't know when they're going to happen. Even the process of this that I know was even just the process was challenging for some of you, you know, watching my videos here and going into the private Facebook, that kind of threw in a little bit of uh, chaos for you. And there was a little bit of method to the madness there in terms of not only being able to share these videos with other people, but to see what happens when things come up that are unexpected. Because life is unexpected. And one of the, the myths that I'm going to dispel right here is that sometimes when I say the word spa life, a lot of people will say like, well, I can't attain that. My life's too crazy. I don't know what she's talking about. I think she's just sitting at you know the spa all day. It's not really about that. It's about how you're choosing in your life. And I'm dispelling the myth around balance because as we all know, there really is not balance, right? Balance would be a true, like everything was equal all the time. Life is not like that. Sometimes we are sprinting to get to the next thing in our business or, you know, to work on a project or, you know, do some late nights sometimes. And it's okay. That's part of the journey. Sometimes that's part of what we love to do is to jump into some of those projects and have those things happen. That's okay. What we want to do, instead of looking for balance, we want to look at how do we incorporate harmony, right? We want to be in flow in life, right? It's okay if we have some crazy moments and some goals and we're moving forward on some things. <clears throat> I'm going to take some little water here. So hopefully you guys have some too. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm. I'm seeing you guys putting some of your transforming thoughts in here about being a grateful person. Thank you for Onisha for sharing that. Mm. Thank you for putting that in there. <clears throat> so we talked about there not being that, that balance part. It's about having harmony. It's about being in flow in your life and knowing when you've pushed a little extra where you can inject that self-love in terms of having that self-care, that taking care of yourself, that putting on your calendar, those things that actually inspire you and fuel you up. I know so many of you are giving and over-giving and that's where the overwhelm comes from that over-giving or over-scheduling and that over, 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 right? That's where we have to weave in some harmony and bring us back to a place where we actually love our life. So we need to put those things and be strategic about those things and putting them in our calendar as well so that we have that aspect into our life. So I love you guys still putting these, these comments in here <clears throat> about where you're going and how that is going to support you. So with that, I want to share with you guys that a date that changed my life and it was February 2nd, 2002. And I'll never forget that not only for what happened, but you know, the, the date itself is 020202. It was on that date that my friend who lived less than a mile from my home, uh, my friend Brenda, her daughter Danielle, who was seven years old, was kidnapped and murdered. It was the last case where I was called to be the liaison between the family and the police department to find her. And I knew with all the things that I knew in my background that we were not going to find her alive, but it was so important to be able to find her to have closure for the family. And it was something that pulled not only on the hearts <clears throat> of everyone involved, but the community. And it was such an outpouring of volunteer efforts of people coming out to support and have that happen. But as you can imagine, the tragedy that happened, not only for the family, but for the community, the, the communal loss that people felt that particular year. I mean, I was in front of the media and trying to support 
you know, Brenda and, you know, trying to find Danielle and to really manage a lot of things and going to court and just having the, you know, outrageousness that a, her neighbor was involved that, that actually took her. And it was just so many different layers of that and the stress and the anxiety over a period of a year that happened was just so overwhelming. How many of you can look into your life and know, hopefully not to the extent of that kind of year that, that I had, that we had as a community and as a family. And I know it affected my own daughters as well of that sense of feeling safe and what you do uh, in your lifetime. If you know that you've had some really chaotic times in your life, you don't even have to say specifically what that is. But if you want to put in that in the comments, I get it or I've been there, you know, please feel free to, to put that in there for you, right? A lot of things are coming up and I, I see that you guys are putting the emotions and things that are coming up for you because no matter what's happened in our life, no matter the, the journey and things that we've come on, they affect us all so, so deeply. And we sometimes feel like, how are we going to get out of that? How is it going to be different than the chaos I feel now, the clutter I feel now, the emotions I feel now, the day to day of the insanity that can come up in our life that we feel like we have no control of. And I felt a lot of that at the time where I just felt like, my God, if we cannot keep our children safe, what do we do? Right. And so there's so many things. Maybe you've had to take care of an ailing parent or you've had to balance multiple jobs or you've had to take care of your kids. You had to work and just do have things pulled from you from so many directions that you feel like you don't have control over your life right? And there's so many things that I have learned in this process that I want to pour into you to have you guys be able to pull out of these things because they're going to happen. Hopefully not. I hope to God they don't happen to the level of some of the things that I've experienced, but I know that some of you have, right? And you've got to have the tools and the systems and structures to be able to know how do you move through that so it doesn't take you out in life and that you can have that happen. Now, a miracle happened during this time at the end, once we had gone through the trials and all the things that happened, someone had donated for myself and Brenda and a couple of other ladies to go to a resort in Tucson, Arizona called Canyon Ranch. I'd never been to a place like this before, but as you can imagine, as we got to this location, we were, we were a shell of people. We were just burnt out, exhausted deflated, just so many emotions, sad, just beyond sad. And when we walk there, we had a very amazing experience happen to us where everything about there was about this environment where we were being fed organic, nutritious food. We were able to get to bed early and have good rest. We had spa services that took care of our body. We went, there was beautiful grounds of waterfalls and sculptures and artwork, and we went hiking. And it was just this amazing experience of having everything in the environment that supported us. And each day we were actually able to find a smile and some laughter. And we had this extreme self-care that I became so passionate about taking care of ourselves, so that we can pull out of the things that are not working. I know so many of you are mentioning here that, you know, this is your life and that you've been here. And I know this is a collective journey that we've all been on in just different ways. And sometimes we just don't know how to turn the corner how to get past that. And being on this property gave me the first glimpse of when we take care of ourselves, when we shift the ways that we do things in life, we can change the experience of our life. And so what had happened is we were becoming our best selves. When we took care of ourselves and we were being taken care of, it was the environment that was pulling us forward to really reclaim that aspect of ourself that had been so forgotten. And so what happened is in the evening when we gathered not only with ourselves but with other people, we had such amazing conversations. I looked at it as that there was an elevation of consciousness, that when we showed up as our best self, we were having discussions on ways that we could save other children, how we could live our life better. We could have these amazing conversations because we could finally start thinking clearly because we were taking care of ourselves. And so what are things that had happened is that I had actually gone back. I had, you know, I was retiring out of the police department at this time and I was part of a pilot 
project program called the ultimate game of life. And my mentor who created this program, Jim Bunch was asking me on the call because the whole purpose of this year long program where I was immersing myself with a mentor to really be committed to having the tools and the structures to live my life differently, to create the environments that would support me. He asked me if I had all the time and money in the world, what would I be spending my time with? And out of nowhere, I said I would be living the spa life. I had never said this word before. I had never cultivated what that even meant. But what I shared with him on that call that day was it wasn't just about having a massage or going to a resort. It was about having every aspect of myself, every part of my environment that would pull me into the direction of what it is that I wanted to have in my life, the experience that I wanted to have of my life. If I took care of myself in an extreme way of having healthy food, of getting the rest, of getting my body taken care of through exercise and services, I could be my best self. And isn't that why we're all here is to be the best version of ourself so that we can go out and serve to the level we want to do, that we can leave legacy, that we can make a big difference. We can't make that difference from a depleted place of being overwhelmed and being exhausted. So it isn't even necessarily about this journey, about doing it specifically for you, although I want it for you. It is for who you're being. It's for the people you're here, the bigger purpose of why you're here. And it starts with you. It starts with filling yourself up from all the things in life that have depleted you. And you just haven't known where to go and what to do about that, right? So I'm seeing, you know, continually here with the comments that you guys are having here. And you, you hear what I'm talking about. You know that life in itself can throw us some curveballs and we just don't know where it's going to go. And so I committed myself to a year of learning the strategies of knowing how to get the environment in place, to shift my mindset, to do some of the things that I now am in turn teaching to you and to bringing this into your life. So you can pull yourself through those dark times that are going to happen or who have already happened that you know what to do, that you have this arsenal and toolbox to be able to deal with whatever is thrown with you and to be able to jump into your life joyously. And believe me, I didn't think that I could recover from that and that I could have a life that I have now, but it is possible and it is a choice. And we have to put ourselves with the mentors and the environment and the things that allow us to get there. And that's just a choice that we get to do, right? And if we get stuck in the mind, and that's why today is the, you know, the Freedom Friday of the mindset, because a lot of times our mind will take us out from that before we even get started. We could start off and say, you know what, I'm committed to, you know, make my life better and to organize a little bit each day and do some of these things, but then life happens and it takes us out. And if we don't have the people and the environment and the structure that supports us, then we get stuck and we listen to that mind and then we don't go forward. And that's how year after year we start shaming ourselves. We feel bad and we are not moving forward in our life because we feel like it's so simple, right? I mean, in so many ways it is. As simple as it is, it's still not easy because life is coming at us, right? We can have the best intentions in the world. And I mentioned about, I was going to talk about three of my just my top things during this talk here. And I'm going to start weaving that in as I go through this, because the first thing is about environment is greater than willpower. It's so important. As I talked about with spa life, the environment that was created there, we can create that in our home as a daily experience. We don't have to fly away to another location and, and escape our life. We can actually create that in our home a little bit at a time, five minutes at a time, 15 minutes at a time, changing and shifting our mindset. This is how we change our space and making that happen. A lot of times I share with you this, you know, just to give you an example of why environment is so much stronger and greater than willpower is I like to share with you my cupcake story, right? So if you're working out of your home and you have this thousand cal calorie, beautiful cupcake that you bring home and is in your environment and you just say, maybe I'll have a bite or I really just bought that for the family. I'm not going to eat it, but it's there in your environment. If you walk past that cupcake, enough during the day, you're either going to be hungry enough, stressed out enough, or there's no other food to eat. You're going to eat that cupcake. I don't care what your willpower is. It's there in the environment. That's how powerful our environment is. It's the same thing for like your office. Like some of you are not even working in your office because it's so cluttered or you can't focus in there. It's a distraction. You can't have the clarity that you want to have. So that's an environment that's not supporting you 
right? And this is a place where you want to make all of your money. I mean, clearing things out of your space can actually make you very prosperous. A lot of you've seen the time you've been able to get back and the immediate clarity you're able to feel. Something can take you, you know, 15, 20 minutes that maybe would have taken you three hours and cost you more time and money just because you couldn't think clearly because of the space that's there. So that first thing about your environment is greater than willpower is so important to create the environment that supports you. So the second thing is about the tolerations. Now we did an exercise about the tolerations and, you know, what, what is happening in your space? You know, those things where, is there a light bulb not working? Are you tripping on a carpet? Is there things that you don't love in the space? Those tolerations that build up over time, they, they cause an anchor for you. They allow you to not be clear. They allow you to not move forward in the things that you're doing. So thank you. Um, see, you guys are putting you that you're learning and you know how you've been here on the journey. So thank you guys for continuing to put in your comments and, you know, please continue to do that. You know, if this is resonating saying like, you know, I get it, I'm here, you know, maybe some hearts and thumbs, just, I love that you guys that are, are, are participating on it on a deep, deep level here. And so part of the tolerations is that when we're doing so many things and we're running through our life, right? We forget about who we're being in our life, right? Who do we want to show up? I mean, think about when things are overwhelming and crazy, are you really being the person that you want to be in the world? right? So we have to look at as part of the journey of not just clearing our space in the environment, but what are we tolerating in our space and our mindset and in ourself of who we are being. So tolerations are an important thing to clear out of our life so that we can show up being the person that we want to be. So the third part here is the calendar. And I know we talked about this on Tuesday about your time, about what is in your calendar. And I talk about your calendar as being your mind in action right? This here, your calendar is a reflection of who you are and what you are doing and what you've decided your life journey is going to be. If you just pick at your calendar and you see what's on there, if you see some things on there that you feel like you have to do and you really don't want to be doing, that is a choice. It's a choice that you are choosing to live your life with that on there. We want to be able to shift your calendar to be your mind in action in a way that is reflecting a life you want to live. A lot of times, you know, mind in action, if you would write that down, it's MIA, mind in action, but also MII can also be, you know, missing in action, right? Is your life missing from your calendar? Is it filled with so many to do's and appointments and things for other people? Is your life, your personal life missing from your calendar, right? Do you have the self care in there? Do you have, you know, a vacation in there? I mean, it's so great. You know, as kids, you would look forward to summer vacation, right? You'd almost sometimes would count down how many days till summer vacation and how many days till we do this fun thing. And, and so it's so important to have those things to look forward to in your calendar. You want to be present in your day-to-day -day life, but it's something such fueling and joy to have things to look forward in life as well, especially for those times where maybe you have some extra difficult things happening. You know, if you're striving for, you know, the next level of your business or you're trying to help out a parent or you've got something going on with your kids or your grandkids and you're just trying to move to that next level, sometimes in the minutia where it can feel a little bit overwhelming uh, or even just clearing out things in your space where you're feeling that overwhelm, if you've got something on your calendar to look forward to, it's like that other little reward that you have. There's something that you're, you know, there's something that is just like this little child within us that when we get in a reward, it's just like exciting to be able to have that with us. And so to be able to have that happen is really important. And so if you also have that mindset that's coming up going, well, I can't afford a vacation. I've got this, this, this. it's not even about money, right? I want you guys to stop for a second here and think about what are some of the things that you love to do? And really, when it comes down to it, it typically does not cost anything, right? It usually has to do with who you're spending it with, whether it's a spouse or significant other or your family. It's like being with them, there's, there's not a cost to that. I mean, sure, maybe you have to fly somewhere or drive or something like that. But if you were just in the same room, connecting and sharing stories and laughing and being together, 
there's a lot of joy in that, right? And you don't have to plan a formal vacation where you have to go somewhere. You can create a staycation, especially if you've got children or grandchildren in your life. They love this stuff. In fact, this is something to talk about like over the dinner table. Let's say you just put something and I actually encourage you to do this. And if you are, or if you're game for this and you're willing to do this, put in the comments, I'm in right? If you put I'm in, then you are willing within the next like six weeks, even let's just say 12 weeks that you're going to put in your calendar a staycation. You're just going to pick a date. You don't have to pick the date right now, but just say I'm in, I'm going to do this. You put a staycation date on the calendar and you then start sharing it with who you want to do it with, right? Some of you might even want to just do a staycation by yourself. Maybe you just need to have some alone time and you want to have just a day at the beach, right? And that's fine too. But if you want to do a staycation with someone else that you love, a, a dear friend or, or a significant other or a family reunion or whatever you want that to be, it could just be a day at the beach or a picnic at the park, right? It's just so there's something about when you actually put that on the calendar. These are some of the joys in our life that we forget about that don't cost us anything. When we carve that time and we let our calendar know, we are telling our calendar, I'm claiming this time for myself. I'm claiming this space for myself because you know what? Life is so short. If we don't put those pearls in our calendar, they're not going to happen. There is no someday, right? We have to choose it, right? This is about designing your life versus living by default. And when we choose it, those are the things to look forward to. So I love this. You guys are putting in, I'm in. So just keep doing that. Keep putting in, I'm in, that you're going to put that on there. And what I want you to do is to build the excitement around that too, because the emotions are really what get us going and get excited. And they also get us through tough days. Because you guys, there's going to be some tough days. There's going to be some days that, you know, maybe even today's a tough day for you that who knows what's blown up for you. And you're like, oh my God. But if you have this in your calendar, you get through those tough days easier. When you have something to look forward to, it makes it easier. I know for my family, we have done annual vacations since I was in fifth grade and we went to Palm Springs. And no matter what was happening during the year, I would always think we've got Palm Springs where I can just lay by the pool, be with my family, connect with them. We have nothing planned other than where we're going to go for dinner. <laughs> and it's just such an exciting thing to have something to look forward to. Now for you, it may be that you're going to plan a picnic at the neighborhood park just down the street. That's okay. But what's exciting about that is it can be discussions that you have with your family. It's a way to engage away from the electronics and all the distractions in the world. You sit down together and maybe you're not sitting down to having meals together, but maybe you just choose one meal that you guys have together and you have this discussion like, what should we do for our family vacation, right? Our, our staycation that we're having. Just Build it up because here's the thing. Sometimes it's more fun just the planning than the actual day or event itself to talk about, well, are we going to bring bikes? Are we going to bring board games? Should we bring the bocce balls? Are we going to go swimming? Are we going to bring boogie boards? Are we going to go walk on the beach and put our toes in the sand? Maybe we should do a sand castle. I mean, there's so many different things to do and kids love to be part of the imagination and the joy and what it brings up in you. Those are the feelings that are going to move you through the tough times. That is part of how you're scheduling your life. That's where you start reducing the overwhelm because you have things to look forward to. When we have so much overwhelm in our life, we have a hard time looking for when the next good thing is going to happen. When the good thing is on the calendar, it actually is like, oh, thank God, I've got something that will give me a break, right? And I recommend that you don't just wait for just that six weeks or that 12 weeks. What can you put on the calendar every day? It's even 15 minutes. You know, girlfriend, if you need to just lock yourself in the closet for 15 minutes and just be in silence and have a meditative moment or turn the light on and read, you know, a, a magazine that that's not going to even teach you anything. It's just going to be for fun. Those are those moments that you need to capture to be able to have in your life to have that self-care so you can continually fill yourself up because overwhelm is a depletion. So we have to bring back in, what are we doing to fill that back up, right? Oh, I'm so glad to hear this, that people are getting excited again about their life. We forget about this, right? What happens in our mind, and this is why we need to free ourselves from the disempowering thoughts, is that our mind tells us that, well, you can't do that. It's like going back to, well, you haven't finished your chores yet, or you haven't, you haven't done all these have tos and the life and it's hard and, and you don't get that right now because you haven't earned it. You're not good enough, right? 
Those are false thoughts that are happening in your head. You deserve to have the life that you want, the life that you create. And it happens by putting it on your calendar and to get excited about your life. I love that you guys are putting in here that you're getting excited, right? Because you should, it's your life. You get to choose, right? We don't get to have people that take that away from us, right? Even if we have a lot of demands on ourselves and we're trying to serve a lot of other people and we're wearing a lot of hats and doing a lot of things, right? We still have to choose us. We have to choose us first. It's just like, you know, if you guys get sick or something happens to you, you can't be there to serve all those other people. It doesn't help them. So you can't allow yourself, it's selfish for you to allow yourself to get so depleted and not take care of yourself that you're so exhausted and overwhelmed that you can't live the life that you want to live. So it's so important to incorporate the tools that we've started here. You know, the daily actions, the habits, the things, you know, you're going to have day-to-day struggles. You're going to have things that aren't supporting you. And you got to have those things in place that will move you forward and allow that to be able to happen. So I'm going to move along here because I know, I know how it feels in this week. And I, I hope that you've been able to encompass more and more of this, of each day, the, you know, the R, the remove that I have in my reset system about how all these things that you removed and all of these little wins, they're exciting. There's all these wonderful things that have happened, but truth be told, if you don't have a larger system to be able to support yourself on an ongoing way, you know, to be able to create the habits, to be able to reset your life in a moment when things get thrown at you, to be able to clear on a regular basis, to be able to do these kind of things on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, then it'll be lost. And I want you to have long-term longevity results. I want these things to stick for you because I think that you've probably seen at different points in your life where maybe you've cleared some things away or you've gotten excited about something and then life threw a curveball at you and it just fell away and you felt bad about it, right? You felt like, my God, why can't I just keep this up? Why do I keep, you know, taking one step forward and taking two, three back? You know, I know you don't want that for your life. So we have to look at what are some of the systems and the structures that will support you going forward. And I have thought, you know, long and hard about this, that, you know, I would love to just keep doing this indefinitely with you all to have these little, you know, things that, that support you each and every day and walk you through that. And I've talked to my team about this. We've looked at how I can support you in doing this. And I know some of you have actually, I've, I've talked to you about this before, about my life reset course experience. I'm going to just put that up there so you get to get to see that um, because I am committed to guide you and mentor you to have transformational success and to have this happen for you over time and have it stick with you. And I want to be able to go further and deeper with the work that we've already started with you to really you know, get this momentum going and to really support you with this, right? And so in this commitment to you, I have created my my life reset experience. And I'm going to share with you a little bit about what that even looks like. And um, I want um, for you guys to, so if you are ready to continue this work, to continue to go deeper, to continue to clear out the things that are not working for you, then put in the comments, I'm ready, you know, and whatever that means for you right now. And we'll talk about the details for that, but I just want to know energetically within you, you are ready to change how you are looking at your life, how it is that you want to take control of how you design your life about finishing the things that you started. I mean, it can be challenging just to get started with things, but I call it messy in the middle. Sometimes just the continuation that's happening and then completing things, right? Because we do get sidetracked. So I would love for you guys, I'm going to continue to look in here to see your lovely comments that you are doing. Um, I'm seeing some of you put in here, I'm ready. And I just want you to have that internal commitment for yourself that you are ready to take the things that we've been doing this week to continue to remove things out of your life, to be intentional with your life, to really look at your life from a different perspective, to put things on the calendar that inspire you, that bring you the emotions that have that happen, right? I'm seeing you guys. I love this. Just keep going on here because I want to build the energy of I'm ready. 
because I'm ready needs to build within your body that you need to actually feel it regardless of whether or not you do further work with me or you want to just take this out on your own. You have to build that energy within you that says I'm ready, that it's not okay for me to slip back into putting everyone else first and I'm last and I'm feeling exhausted, that I'm feeling overwhelmed, that day-to-day struggles I don't know what to do with that I just, you know, the clutter is out of control and I don't know what to do with it. It's not okay. So for you to really have the commitment to have some embodied actions to do that, to continue to put in here, I'm ready because I want something different for you. I want you to live the life that you want to live. I want you to have you have that in there. So um, for those of you who are putting here in, I'm going to continue on with the I'm ready because I love having that in here. I would also like you guys, if you want to hear more about this, if you want to continue this work and journey with me, uh, because this, all of the, um, the videos are expiring. You know, this one included the wins from this week. They will be expiring on Sunday by 6 p.m. Um, Pacific. And, um, you know, we'll have the private group where I'll still be able to do some questions and answers and things to, you know, wrap up this experience. Uh, but the videos themselves will be expiring on Sunday. And I'm going to be stepping into the deeper level of my work that we got to start here. So if you would like to hear more about what I have to offer, more about the life reset, then please put in the comments, um, show me. And I will send to you um, the details of what the Life Reset experience is, how that supports you. It'll be broken down. I'm going to talk a little bit about it here. But if you put in um, the comments here, show me, then um, my Diane bot, who will send you all the uh, information and the details where you can um, go further in that. And, you know, I love facilitating this course because it encompasses all the things I love about my business. I love the fact of being consistent, right? Consistency is so huge. I love about building the habits and doing them in small, you know, bite-sized action steps that are doable, right? I think you found during this week that although a lot of things have popped up that there's more to do because there is, you know, you've been able to see results. And that is something that I am committed to having is that you have success and that you have results. So please make sure that you put in show me so that you get the details with that because I want to ensure your success and to make sure that that happens. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about you know, what that looks like with the paper clutter solution is going to be a bonus that I'm going to be having. So for those of you that are ready to put show me and that you get um, all the details there, I'm going to include as part of the life um, reset experience is to have six weeks access to my paper clutter solution program. And if you look at that uh, on my website, that is a 797 value just by itself. So, and I'm having that as a bonus as part of that. And what is so great about you being able to be part of that is that so many of you have mentioned like, I'm sorting through papers, but I don't know what to do with them. I don't know how to find them. I don't know how to utilize them. And the paper clutter solution program gives you not only my action box that I showed you guys about that um, it shows you how to set this up, right? And what's so important about that is it shows you that there's only eight hanging files that show you exact actions to do. And I show all of that in my system. You walk through that with me. You have um, some live calls as part of that and you get all of my system. So some of you maybe have just been coming off of taxes and what was some of the energy that happened to you in gathering the paperwork and the receipts and all the things that happened around gathering things for taxes? Well, in the, that particular um, program, I have got my system that is so easy that you will just show up for your tax appointment. You'll know exactly where your tax papers are. You'll know what to keep and not take, you know, what to keep and what to get rid of. I've got my checklist that show you that because evaluation is, I know, a challenging part for a lot of you to know what do I keep? How long do I keep it? What do I do with it? All of those things happen as well as what are your emergency papers and how do you find them? And I do a color coordinated system to be able to support you. So, hey, I see you, Margaret, Sam, that just got on here. Um, I thank you for giving me ups on that. I'm just sharing about the, the next uh, step about uh, beyond this challenge. And I'm talking about my life reset experience. And for people to put in the comments, show me if you would like to get the details of what that next step is. And I'm sharing with you now 
um, the bonus that is part of that, which is my paper clutter solution program, which that in and alone is a 797 value. And that's going to be part of a free bonus with my life reset experience. And um, you get the electronic version as well as how to deal with papers, how to uh, you know find them quickly to deal with the um, emergency papers and uh, to be able to use a color coordinated system. So that is one of my, you know, um, most popular programs that people uh, love to do to clear their paperwork once and for all, to be able to find the important papers they need when it's important. I know a lot of you, uh, I know in our neighborhood here in Scripps Ranch, we've been evacuated twice and how imperative in just moments to be able to find your most important paperwork and to be able to take them with you when you have to be able to make decisions in a moment. Um, think about that in your space. If you had to get your hands on something important right now, could you? right? This particular setup really helps you to do that. And you, especially as you build team as well, is that to have your team be able to find things too, if you're not there to be able to do it. So this is an awesome bonus to be able to have. So definitely make sure you guys put in here, show me so that you get the details of this and what that looks like. I'm going to continue talking a little bit about um, the life reset course and what is what that entails. I talked to you a little bit about the bonus for those of you who are ready to take advantage of, of that um, right away. Uh, so the first thing is that the life reset uh, experience is a five week call in community course that is live with me. So it is live. It's like this where we have the, the communication. We'll be calling in so you can do that in the privacy of your home. You'll be able to ask me questions directly. And we're going to be going through a process that actually uh, supports you in continuing this work. So we'll have a bonus uh, jumpstart call to start it off. So there's actually six calls total. Uh, so that first call, we're going to be looking at what is your intention and what is your result. So we talked a little bit about this this week, about what is it that you want to have as a result in the outcome of your day. It doesn't necessarily add up to the to-do list, all the things that you have going on that may not equate to the outcome and result you want to have. So it's important for us together in community to really look and go, what is your intention for your life, for your day, for how you want to go? I mean, because you have to reverse engineer that and be really clear on what that is. And if you're not clear what that is, that is something that I can support you with to not only see what you want to have as your outcome and result for your daily life, but how to get there. That's something I can do. So if you guys have your water, remember we're having self-care. Take a sip. Okay. So for the five weeks, what we're going to be looking at with that is that the first week is going to be on uh, continuing with awareness, right? I think you've been able to see in this week, you know, being aware of what's happening in your space and it's time to remove. So I know if some of you felt like there hasn't been enough time to remove all the things that you want to remove out of your life, we are going to be focusing on that first week of continuing to remove the things that aren't working. So you have to get rid of the things so that you can then have more clarity and see what's happening in your space. So we will continue that process of having awareness and removing. You'll be able to have that one-on-one -on -one with me to be able to ask these questions. Some of you have gotten stuck with that. Um, and so we will continue on and I'm going to talk about here and interject in the um, my reset. And for those of you who didn't hear me say this in the beginning, for those of you who stay with me to the end of training, or even if you're watching this on the replay, if you go all the way to the end of my training, um, I'm going to give you uh, some instructions for a an, an additional free giveaway uh, to be able to have my reset system and all the different ways that I use it for your mindset, for your physical space, and your self-care. And that's all going to be delineated in those three different areas. And we focus on that in the Life Reset experience. But to have that checklist is really helpful. So I'll show you how to get that at the end. So uh, that first week, we're focusing on the R, which is the remove, and continuing to remove any of the things that are not working in your life. And then the second week, we're going to be looking at the possibilities. It's going to be time to create. And that is the E in the reset about evaluating. I know this is something that came up for a lot of you that is challenging, is how to evaluate what to keep and not keep, especially if you've inherited a lot of things from other family members or, you know, there's a... Um, a memory keepsake to it. Like, how do you decide between what things to keep and what not? So I have a checklist around that. I've got some specific questions that support you um, in that. And that, you know, I am a firm believer that you can have it all. 
You just can't have it all at one time, right? So you need to be able to evaluate, you know, what to keep, what to prioritize on, what to move forward on your life, and how do you keep yourself out of overwhelm? How do you choose that? And the evaluation is a really important aspect um, between, you know, having that. And if you've had that happen where it's been challenging for you to evaluate what to keep and not keep, just, you know, put in the comments below, got it. Like you've, you've had that happen. That, that's happened for you. So um, then the third week, I'm going to keep them here, make sure I get all the info for you guys, is that we're going to be looking at designing. It's going to be a time to craft. And the S in the reset is about systems, right? So you want to be able to consciously choose and create the things that you get to do, that you start getting rid of the things that you have to do. And we create the systems that support you, that allow you to have the life that you want to have, that you're able to find the things that you want to have, and that you're taking care of yourself. We systematize that. This is part of what I was talking about when I worked with my mentors about looking at what were some of those shortcuts, right? You don't want to have to reinvent the wheel. There are some very easy ways to be able to move through life, have the systems that support you to actually have the life that you want to live. So we will focus on designing that in week three. And then week four, we're going to be looking about committing, right? It'll be time to commit. We want to be able to have what is the, the second E in the reset is experiencing the ease, right? I mean, we could build all these systems and we can have this life, but then if it's not an ease for you, if you can't find it, that's where we personalize it. That's where we make little tweaks that make it work for you. And that's why working in a small group together, one-on-one, -on -one, being there together with me and ask these questions um, can support how that supports you. And you are able to then, because we're giving yourself some more time, that it's not just a little bit of time that we've been doing this week, but you're giving yourself more space to really step into who you want to be, right? There's a lot of doing that comes with overwhelm and how you're experiencing your life. So part of, you know, the reason why it's called Life Reset is that we are resetting your life to look a different way where you can be the person that you want to be in life. And so we explore and look at that about how you're committing and how you want to be going forward in your life. And I, I mean, I've done a lot of work around this and I am happy to share everything I know around this to, to be able to support you. And then the fifth week, fifth week is about the culmination because you always need to come together with everything and being like, what is the going forward plan? Now that you've had some time over, you know, six weeks to be able to build the habits, to get rid of the things that you don't put in what you want, have the systems, make sure how it's the ease and flow for you. You've got to be able to also track and maintain. That's the part a lot of people forget is the last T there is how do you maintain it over time? That's the secret sauce that we really spend a lot of time on because, you know, you don't want to get to a point and then slip off again. You want to have this be something that is long lasting, right? And you know, if you want to have shifts and change where you want to have the habits that are long term, then put in the comments below long term. Like you're looking for a long term solution. You don't want to just move one step forward and three, 10 steps back and then start over again, right? So it's important that you have the celebration aspect that happens as part of this journey, right? So that last part is not just the culmination of it, but it's the celebration and the continuation. And part of why I'm actually, I'm wearing a dress because I'm going to, uh, to speaking of celebration, this is such a perfect day that this is all happening because as soon as I finish uh, training with you, I'm going to be getting in the car with my family and driving up to LA because my youngest daughter, Elizabeth, is graduating from USC Pharmacy School. She'll be Dr. Elizabeth Gonzalez. And um, we're so proud and excited of her. And we have to celebrate those things. She put four years into her life to have that happen. You know, a lot of times I know you guys have put years into things and you haven't celebrated that. And that's why we want to actually make sure that all the steps that you're doing moving forward, that there's some celebration in it. Even if it's 30 seconds to do a happy dance or whatever that is, that again, it comes back to that emotion. Remember we talked about the emotion about putting things on the calendar to look forward to like a vacation. You have to put that into your daily life where you have the celebrations, right? Because when we build up the happy muscle in us and the excitement, that is the energy that's going to push us through the overwhelm. And that is something that we need to build as well. Thank you for all the congratulations for my daughter. 
um, on her graduation and all of those who are looking for a long-term solution, right? I mean, you guys wouldn't be here with me throughout this week if you weren't ready to make a shift in change and to just make this happen, right? I mean, it's like, it gets exhausting, right? It adds to the overwhelm when we only do a little bit and then we fall back, right? We want to have those long-term things that support us. And, you know, um, for those that you have the icons on there, you know, put on maybe the, the celebration ones, just as that reminder in the comments to put those celebrations in there or woohoos or just any of those things to give yourself that energy of celebration that happens um, in that process. And we will be including that in um, the, in the system here. So thank you guys for all the congratulations to Elizabeth. I'll have her come check, check through this and, and make that happen. So, um, so one of the things here is to ask yourself is, uh, you know, why invest, right? If we, if we looked at all of these things, you know, separately in terms of, you know, the, just the bonus alone, which is the 797 with the paper clutter solution, the life reset system um, with that, that's, you know, a, a 1997 program. You know, if uh, one of the things I didn't mention here as well is we'll have the private Facebook group. And what's important about that is as you experience here, there's going to be some things that come up. They're going to be really private. I know you've already shared some private things in this group, and that's why we have a closed Facebook group to have a forum where we can have deeper conversations because it's in the going deeper is where some of that transformation actually happens. And it needs to be in a safe space. I love the fact that you guys are, are being very transparent and putting things out here on the live experience. But I know that there's some things deeper that you may feel more comfortable doing in a private group. So that's why we include private groups in training. Um, the other aspect is that you will have a private call with me. And that is a $500 value in and of itself, because there may be some things even deeper than just being in the group that you just want to share with me, right? There may be a, a nuance about what's happening for you. You may be stuck. There may be something that's happening in your mindset. There's all these different layers that may be happening for you that you get to have that one-on-one -on -one experience. You and I get to have a call together in order to have that happen. That is all part of the life reset experience for you to be able to have. Now, all of those things, you know, individually, if you would look at them and you would, you could just buy those on individually on my website today. And the cost of that would be 3,500. Now I am doing a special for you guys, um, on here. I'm going to put, do, 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 do I have it on here? Uh, I think I didn't put that in there is, um, for you to put, make sure you guys put show me. So you have that on there. So you get the details, but the special that I'm doing for you guys now, even though the, the, the hard costs would be that you can buy that on my website for 3,500, I'm doing this special for you guys for 997, right? And that is for the full life reset experience, all the calls, the private call with me, the, the group call or the group, you know, community that you get to have together. And I mean, it's just the, the life, um, the paper clutter solution program alone, you know, is almost all of that cost. So it's almost as if you're getting that whole program plus the life reset, plus a call with me. I'm putting as many things together to be able to support you to have this continuation of this work together right? And one of the things that happens with that is that I know there's going to be some daily struggles. There's going to be some things that come up for you, some of the mindset things that happen for you. And, you know, the clutter is most likely not just going to go away on its own. It's getting those habits and those things built into place for you. So make sure that um, you put on here, show me so that you have that in here. And let me see, I want to make sure that you have all the details. Uh, let's see here. I've got the life reset. Uh, I want to make sure you have all the things in here. So one of the things I want to put on here is why invest, right? And that might be coming up for you. Like why invest? There's all these how to's online that I could, you know, how to do this, how to do that. And I can find these things online. Now the difference and what I have found is that in order to have true transformation, you need to have a complete system. You need to have embodied action, right? That is the difference is that you don't want to have more knowledge in your head. You want to have, what do you do with that? How do you apply that? And that is one of the things that I was wanted to show you guys here is through this week was that doing small shifts and actions moving forward have huge results. And this will just, you know, expand what you've already done to really 
solidify the habits that I know that you want to have in place so you don't slip back, that you can re actually reset your life for good, to have that long transformation that you want to have. And I would be honored to be your mentor and your guide in this process to continue this, to have that happen for you. And let's see, I know not only in the show me, you can put show me in here, and then you also can put... Uh, you can also go to dianehoffman.com, Life Reset. Uh, that way you can also pull it up. So either way, you can put in the comments here, show me, and you can have it sent through the bot. Or you can go to dianehoffman.com forward slash Life Reset. And it already has in there uh, the discount. And there's several ways that you can do that. There is going to be a, in there a one pay. So you can do the $9.97. There's also going to be a two pay for $5.50. And then there's also going to be a three pay, which I believe is like a $3.47, something like that. It's all, it's all in there, but it's to make it so that it's completely affordable for you guys to be able to do this. I don't want money to be an issue that you're not taking care of yourself. This is where the mind might click in again and go, I don't deserve that. I'm not worth it. I can't do that. There's all these things that are happening. That's exactly why I gave several different options so that it is affordable and approachable and available to you um, to be able to have that. And I'm going to be offering that special um, through um, Sunday at, at six. So when the videos expire, this offer also expires um, because I'm going to go, you know, jumping this back up to uh, my original price to have on there. But because you guys have committed and I'm so proud of you of what you've done this week, you know, you've made such amazing strides in moving forward and that I, I want this for you. I want you guys to be able to take this work further. So we really looked at how is it that I could give you you know, so much more value going forward and have the support and for me to personally be able to do that with you. I won't be able to do that um, for much longer as I'm building these processes. I'm going to be, you know, delegating some of this to team. And, uh, but at this point, since you guys have come through this with me, I want to personally do this with you. And I would love for you guys to do that with me as well. So, um, I'm coming here down here towards the the end where we're going to be doing some Q&A. And remember at the end too, I'm going to be giving you that additional bonus that you get regardless of whether you're in the program for just being here with me. So you'll get that and I'll give you the instructions on that. Uh, so um, at this point, I'm going to just kind of go into some Q&A. If you've got questions about anything I've trained so far during the day, if you've got uh, any questions about Life Reset, uh, about the course, about what that is like. I mean, I know we if you put in show me, uh, you'll get all the details on that. Or, or if you put in my website, uh, as far as life, uh, dianehoffman.com forward slash life reset, uh, you'll be able to get things on that too. I'm actually going to put that back on there so you can have that. Uh, but you can also put uh, show me and that is... Um, that's super easy too, to be able to have either one of those to get all the full details to be able to have that. I'm going to just kind of go back through here, see any of the live comments that you have on here. If For those of you who are watching on the replay, um, I'll also circle back around and answer any questions that you have on that. Just a few reminders that we'll have the, uh, let's see, the drawing will be tomorrow at noon for the action box. The videos will expire. So all of the videos that you've been seeing this week will expire at 6 p.m. Pacific on Sunday as well as the offer. So if you've not watched all the videos yet, make sure that you watch those before. Uh, make sure that you get into the private Facebook group so that you can answer any questions with that. So uh, for the show me part, that will give you the special. And I would just, you guys, I would love for you guys to join me. You know, I've really loved seeing the steps that you've been making this week. I really would love to have you continue this journey. I think you may know, I mean, I know there's some of you that feel like, hey, I got this and I'm just going to continue or I'm just going to see, right? I'm just going to see if I can maintain it or I can keep it up or, or make that happen, right? And you may be able to have that happen. However, I do know that life happens, right? And that you're going to have some struggles and you're going to have some day-to-day -day challenges and clutter is just going to happen and paper is going to be in your house and you're not going to even know where it came from and you're going to have overwhelming days. And I just have to have you sit with yourself and ask yourself, who are you going to turn to, right? Who are you, who is going to be your mentor? One thing that I know for sure is that you have to have someone that sees 
beyond what you are currently seeing and that can guide you in a place that you've not been yet. One of the things that Les Brown uh, talks about is that he says that you cannot see the big picture when you are in the frame. You could be supporting so many other people or you could have ideas about this can work or that can work. But when you're in it, you don't always see right is right in front of you. And I can be that person for you. I can help move you through that. I hope you've seen some of that in the private group as you had certain things come up, the suggestions I've had, the ways to tweak, the way to look at things, how to incorporate it in your life. I want to take that deeper with you. I want you to have that long transformation that you are craving, that you want to have in your life. So um, I'm going to continue looking back here for a few more minutes to see if you have any questions. All the questions actually might be answered in the show me. So you can look that over. Uh, you can uh, go to the website and have uh, and, and be able to see it there. Just know that that special of the 997 will also expire at Sunday at uh, 6 p.m. So please Make your decision sooner. We'll send you the information on um, the details with that. I would just be honored to be part of that. And I'm just going to take a moment and just be here with you. I know some of you have already, you know, bounced over to the website or maybe you've looked into your messenger and to see more of the details. Uh, just to give a, a quick recap on that is that it's a five week live community call that we have together with me. I'm actually the person facilitating it live. And um, for any of the ones that you miss or you want to hear it again, the recordings will be available as well. So you'll have that. We're going to have a jumpstart call where you'll have the intentions. You'll be able to really see what it is that you need to do to get to the next level. And then we'll have five weeks where each week we're going to move through using my reset system about what it is that you need to remove, how, what is going to be, you know, having the awarenesses around what's not working, you know, what is going to be possible because there's so many things we can be squirreled with, right? We need to know, do, how do we evaluate? It's an important skill to learn how to evaluate what to have in your life, what to let go of, having the checklist to be able to support you in that. The checklist alone is amazing to be able to have. And then to be able to design your life. I mean, I have an, another tool that I use called Diane's Daily Design, where you can say focus on how the flow of your day goes, right? You're not going to have balance. We talked about that, right? But how are you going to interject harmony into your day? How are you going to have more flow and have that happen, right? And having someone to connect with and make that happen. And then to commit, right? Who you want to be, what that looks like for you, and how to be in flow with that over time. And then finally, that culmination, right? It's one thing. Remember, we don't want to have more information. We want to have bite-sized things that can move us forward have the action to do the things that we want to do. And so we want to have the culmination of all the things that we're bringing together so that you can continue on and to have the celebration, right? We've talked about how important it is to celebrate and have celebration with that here. So I'm looking at some of these here. Oh, thank you for, for thinking and bringing hope into, into your life. Oh, thank you so much, Debbie and Molly and Sam for you guys being here with me. I'm just so excited. Make sure that you guys continue to put in show me so that you can get the details of this. And, you know, as, and I showed you what would be happening during the five weeks. That's just the first part of it. Um, you know, the private Facebook group so that you can share your private thoughts, the challenges, you know, that I'm your 911, that you continue to come to me and have me support you in this process. And remember that you also get that private call with me, that that alone is a $500 value by itself. So for me to be able to put, you know, my ears and eyes on what's happening for you personally and to walk you through that um, is, is something that it would be my pleasure to, to be able to do. And then having the bonus of the paper clutter solution where you get the actual tools and systems that I have in there. And one thing that's really great about the paper clutter solution is, I actually didn't share this, is that we have a two hour Zoom experience where you are actually organizing with me. We do it together. This is sometimes most of the favored part for people because it's like this. It's like we're together with each other. You guys are asking me questions. You know, I love Molly that you're watching from your flight. It's so great that if you guys have questions and we're doing it together, because here's what happens. Some of you may have in your mind going like, I got this, right? I've already started, you know, a couple days. I'm going to keep going forward and all that. And then what's going to happen is you're going to be organizing the most difficult aspect of your life. 
it's going to be something where it's sentimental or you don't know how to choose, you don't know how to evaluate, you don't have the tools, and you're going to be stuck, right? You may be able to push through it, right? But what a lot of times happens is the mindset clicks in and you're going to get distracted and you're going to do something else and it's going to get put in a box and you're just going to set it aside. I mean, I had one of my clients when we did this actual Zoom experience, she had a box that had been under her desk in her office for 30 years. And yes, you heard me, 30 years. And this is no judgment to her. This was a successful woman who was doing a lot of things in her life. She just was so overwhelmed that she was so freaked out about what might be in that box and she didn't know how to evaluate and didn't know what to do, everything in there, that it paralyzed her. And you may have some of these aspects in your life that you feel, you know, paralyzed in your life with what's happening. And that is the exact reason of why I want to be here as your mentor, as your guide to have this transformation be long lasting, that you don't have these, you know, skeletons in the closets in your mind and in your space and in your heart, right? I know you want to shift these things in your life. I know you want it to be different and I want to walk you through that. So that is the full, you know, life reset experience, having the calls, having the, you know, personal call with me, the private group for your privacy to go deep with that. And the bonus of having that, um, paper clutter solution program where you get Even it's like a second bonus to have the two hour Zoom experience where I get to do it with you. So when you're in the moment organizing and I I can't tell you time and time again, there has not been one Zoom experience that I've had in a two hour block that I haven't had somebody moving along saying, I got this, I got this. And somewhere along the way, something came up and it stopped them. And I was there to be able to answer that question in the moment they could move through it that next time they could move even faster and they could get even further. And at some point they get to a point where they can make the decision on their own. They learned the habit. It synced in. It happened. The skills, all the things that I've spent almost 30 years learning all of these things to move you through this. I apply that to you. I incorporate that with you. And I want to have you come on this journey with me. I would love to have you here. And thank you guys for saying how grateful you are that I'm here and the hope this has brought. I mean, this has been such a joy for me to connect with you guys because I know what a difference it makes. I shared with you my story about the darkest time in my life and where it feels like you can't crawl out of that. And I know that some of you are having that in your life where it just feels like it's so overwhelming that you're just not sure how to move forward, right? And I know that we had a glimpse this you know, week where I was showing you more of spa life about what is the environment? What are the things that you can create that you can move through anything? You can, you can move through anything. And here's the thing, you guys, you can move through it without me. You know, if you decide and you want to do it, that can happen, right? I just know that you can do it much faster. I can, you know, have you not reinvent the wheel and it can be less painful because when these things come up, they can stop you. And I want to be there to make sure that you're not, you know, getting sidetracked with life, right? The whole idea of this whole course, and I hope you got this value here, was that we were removing things that weren't working. And I think you know that there are more things that need to be removed. And we're showing that here. And so one of the things here is that in removing the things that aren't working for you, it opens up such a space for you to step through into why you're really here. I mean, have you ever stopped and thought, why am I here? I know you're here for a legacy to make a difference. Even if it's in the difference in your own family or your own life, we're here to make an imprint. And when we've got the blinders on and we can't see because of clutter in our space or our mind, it takes us out of the game. It anchors us. It takes us into a different place where we can't concentrate and we then go into struggle and then we go into procrastination and then we can't move forward in our business and then we're stuck, right? And this course is a way to backtrack yourself out of that and learn the tools to move through it, right? To encompass that, to encompass that embodied action, to have me as that tool, utilize me as that tool, as that 911. So when you get stuck in life that you can move through it and you can actually experience the life you want to have. And then truly the promise of this whole week and this whole challenge of decreasing overwhelm in your life, which I'm so happy to hear that so many of you have had and to learn to love your life more now, 
right? I know you've gotten a taste of that. And I want to take that transformation even deeper. I want overwhelm to not be a thing, you know, that when it comes up, you know exactly what to do. You know how to move through it. You know what you can do. You know how to shift your calendar. You know what to talk to yourself about, how to move through all of those things. I can do that really quickly for you, right? That's what I want. That is my hope and my prayer for you. I want you to live your life more now, not someday, now. So with that, I just want to thank you guys again for being here with me, for your questions, for your support, for your engagement. I think that is just fantastic. And I have not forgotten for all of you who have stayed here at the end with me, I'm going to put this last little announcement here is that if you send me a private Facebook messenger and so a private Facebook message, right, on my business page, and you just put in reset. That was where you will get my PDF on my reset, as I mentioned in the beginning here, is that you will able to get my full five-step reset that has um, the how I utilize reset for the mindset, for the physical space, and for your self-care. It's an invaluable tool to be able to support you. It's my way of thanking you for being here with me throughout this journey this week and this course. So make sure that you guys put in reset in my Facebook ma messenger. Don't put it here because you won't get it. It won't come in here. Uh, you'll have to go into my messenger and um, send me a private message that don't say anything other than reset. Just put in reset. If you want to send me a separate message, then I've that's great too. Um, but in order to get the tool, you'll need to go into my Facebook messenger in my um, Diane Hoffman fan page on Facebook, type in reset, and you will get this tool as my final thank you, thank you to you in this challenge. I want to thank um, you know, my team and all of you here for, for being here, for trusting me to take you through this journey. Um, I hope you guys will join me uh, to continue this work here in the Life Reset so you can continue to put in Show Me. Even when um, I conclude this, uh, you can continue to put that in there. Some of you may want, may want to watch this again in case you didn't catch all of it uh, or you want to just revisit that. Remember to make sure to watch all of these videos, including this one, by Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific because that's when they all um, expire. And I want you to be able to get all the value and all the goodness that came with that before that time. So just because the videos expire, you know, expire during that time doesn't mean that our experience expires, that this is why I want to, you know, really um, urge you to look at, take everything that we've done so far, take that extra step, come with me, right? I've made it so affordable. I've made it, you know, in such an easy way to make it an easy yes to continue this work. I would just love for you guys to do that. And I want to be that person to do that with you. Let's just jump into the Life Reset experience, continue this work, continue this community. And thank you. Just, I'm so grateful that you guys trusted me through this process to guide you and to go into some uncomfortable spots of your life that I know kicked up some things for you. So if I can support you in any way, I know I can through the Life Reset. If there's other ways you'd like me to, re um, to support you as well, please put that in the messenger as well. So <laughs> I love this. So good. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much again. Have a wonderful, blessed uh, weekend and Mother's Day. Again, I want to, you know, say um, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there, whether or not you're a mother or, you know, you're going to spend time with your own mother or you have an angel mother in heaven, or you just want to receive more nurturing in your life. May the energy of Mother's Day bless you this weekend. Be part of the experience you have. And as always, live your spa life. Bye for now.